Today, we're going to be talking about Cinemania 94, an interactive movie guide for Windows 3.1. Now, you probably... Now, you most likely never heard of this. You might have heard of stuff like Microsoft Word or even Microsoft Office, but you've probably never heard of Cinemania. Well, this was around the time where Windows was just experimenting with everything, throwing everything at the wall and see what's sticking, and this did not. <laughs> uh, pretty much Cinemania was a thing when... Microsoft did in 1992 through 1997, and from the very short Wikipedia article about it, it seems to just be a movie database. That's really it. And another thing to note is the disc it says preview edition. So I don't, I don't really know what that means in this context, because well. I don't know what it is. If it's a database, why is there a preview for something that's pretty much just a catalog? And on the back, it doesn't say anything about it. it just says not for not for retail sell. It shows you the name of it again. And an Acer contact sticker, which, I mean, is kind of cool. And opening it up, we also got this little piece of paper here which just tells you system requirements uh, contacting Microsoft support and we have some of this stuff here how to set it up which is pretty much just install it starting it getting help about the demo and exiting the program and yeah so let's 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 read about the about real quick before we insert this into the Windows 3.1 the demo is an animated demonstration on how to use Cinem Cinemania 94. You can play the demo at the end of the setup and then and then from the overview screen. To play the demo on the on the button on the button bar, click overview and then on the controller, click the demo button. Cool. So, I don't I still don't really know what this is so we're just gonna have to pop it in and see what it is the windows 3.1 virtual machine <laughs> uh, ignore the christmas stuff i was doing something here we are on the windows 3.1 virtual machine and we're going to be inserting the cinemania 94 disc Now we need to go to devices so I can change it. Host E. And we need to go to the file manager. And here we are. So let's click on setup and install it. Welcome to Microsoft Cinemania. Welcome to Microsoft Cinemania 1994 edition. Set up install Cinemania 94 and its related multimedia viewer files on your hard disk and replaces the Cinemania 94 icon and places the Cinemania 94 icon on the program manager group. So let's click continue. Yeah, let's copy it. Setup is now ready to create a new group. Go ahead. There we go. Hello. In Cinemania 94, jump and pop-up text is emphasized with an underline and a contrasting color. Blue is the color that works best in Cinemania, and that is the color that the setup will now set this text if you so choose. Sure, let's set up the color. We have this Microsoft, oh, never mind. Set up it, set up must now restart Windows to complete the installation of Cinemania 90, 94. Please close all MS DOS boxes and applications and restart Windows. So let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. And we have the README, which 
just has a bunch of stuff and screen savers ooh can't wait to check those out and now let's open up cinemania 94. Welcome to Cinemania 94. To find a movie, a biography, or a topic, click on the content contents button at the bottom of the controller. To see a list of Cinemania features, credits, or an animated demo, click one of the buttons. And it's been it's been talking about that demo, so why don't we check out the demo? Have some popcorn. Cinemania. Everything you want to know about the movies and the people who make them. To begin your exploration of the movies, just... ...and choose from a selection of over 19,000 titles. Each movie has a capsule review from Leonard Maltin's best-selling book, plus other useful inf all accessible using Cinemania's unique controller. Look out for additional reviews by renowned critics Roger E. and Pauline Kael, and get multiple opinions on especially noteworthy film. When you see the Baseline button, there's a detailed review from Baseline's motion picture with complete cast of characters and major production credits. At the same time, let Cinemania refresh your movie memory with over 900 still photo images. When you see the speaker icon, to hear a classic dialogue excerpt. My father made him an offer he couldn't refuse. You'll also want to keep an eye out for film clips that allow you to watch a scene from a class. You can also find film music. Cinemania goes far beyond movie review. You can find biography and pictures of over 2,000 movie personalities. The filmography button gives you a list of all the movies in each person's career. Cinemania also presents informative articles on topics like the great student, movie making tech, and movie genre. For many topics, there's both a definite and an article. Cinemania's button bar for more special features. A multimedia gallery lets you browse through the pictures and all the music, film, and dialogue. There's a listing of all the Academy Award winners since the ceremonies. And there's even a list maker so you can create and print lists of movies you'll want to rent or buy. Cinemania is packed with information, but it's easy to find what Begin with the content, then use the filters to zero in on what you're looking for. The Find Word feature helps you find reviews and articles that contain any name, word, or phrase you choose to search for. With all these articles and features, you never have to worry about getting lost. The History button shows up to the last 40 screens you see. help on any feature is just a click away. But the real power of Cinemania is the way it lets you jump from one related subject. Any text that's colored and underlined indicates a, a single click takes you from a topical to a biography to a movie. Now you're ready to trace your own path through the magic of the movie. Cinemania. What is it? For movie fans, it's the uh, stuff that dreams are made. So that was kind of neat. Shows us how this whole program works. And from that, it teaches us, obviously, how to use it. But there was also one thing that I was questioning while watching it, and that was during the create create a movie, like what what the person wants to watch. They put M.A.S.H. And if I'm not wrong, M.A.S.H. isn't a movie. That's a show. And another thing is that I think it might be 
like a little hard for me to choose an example movie for this because most of the movies I watch are from around the 2010s. Here we go. Oh, it's a Oh, it's a lot of movies. I think let's let's do like a classic Disney film. Why not Steamboat Willie? That's like the only old movie. Okay. They don't have it. All right. That's kind of interesting. Okay, do they have cameraman? They do. So, I mean, this is pretty good. I don't think they have Disney stuff. I think that's the only thing they don't have is Disney. But still, this is a, like, giant, giant list of movies. Okay, so we have a UK drama called Friends. I don't know, sounds interesting. It has an Elton Elton John song in it. Oh, you know what? I know a film. I know a film that I've know that I know. Pinball Wizard. No, it's called Tommy. Oh, they also straight up just have Tom and Jerry the movie on here. Here we go. Here's a film that I actually know. Tom uh Tommy. Here we go, so we get a full experience of what it's like using this. Uh, if you don't know what Tommy is, it's a movie about a guy who is deaf, dumb, and blind, but very good at pinball. You might know it for the song Pinball Wizard, which it might have. So we get a picture and a short little copyright thing here. We get PG, what is this? Parental Guide? Yep. We have color. This film is in color. We got the time. This film has been released on both video cassette and laser and video disc. I think, I think when this uh, disc came out, it was before DVD. And we have uh, a nomination. And we also there's a few more things it talked about, but I can't seem to find it. We have a movie still but it doesn't seem to have anything else, like no video clip and no score. But I mean, let's be honest, if they were to choose a score, it'd probably be the song Pinball Wizard. So let's go try, let's go try another movie that I know. Uh, I did see Tom and Jerry, the movie, and I think this one was the one where they talked. Oh. It's got a review of it though, which is pretty cool. Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Old, old movie. Yep, here we go. A movie I actually know. It doesn't have anything in here. No video clip. Uh, let's try, let's try The Wizard of Oz. Not The Wiz. Wizard of Oz. Here we go. So we get a little dialogue piece here. Toto? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Uh, we have some other dialogues. But anyway, Toto, we're home. Home. And this is my room. And you're all here. And I'm not going to leave here ever, ever again. Because I love you all. And... Oh, Annie M. And then, of course, we could just look at the dialogue itself. And we, we can also check out a score. Over the Which is pretty good. Uh, please stop playing it. Thank you. So, from that, that's pretty much everything I can really say about it. It is a very interesting thing to have come out, but I, I feel like the, the biggest issue with it is, like, like if you don't really care for older movies, you, wouldn't, you probably wouldn't care about using this. And that's probably why 
it failed and they didn't make another one after 1997 is because no one really needs a database for movies, especially in 1997 when they could literally just like go on the internet at that point and look up a movie or walk to a rental store and go rent a movie. So stuff like this became outdated and now if you want to learn about a movie or find out movies you want to watch, you just go on to IMDb at this point. But still, it's pretty interesting. I forgot Mario Bros came out in 1993. Wow, they have nothing on it. But, but still, Cinemania is probably a really cool program, especially in the time, especially the before the internet times. Like, this would have probably been a really good way to see reviews of movies and stuff. But yeah, so that was Cinemania. Yes, I would like to delete it. And see you guys in the next video. I forgot Windows 3.1 doesn't have a shutdown sound.